All right, I've got this terrible picture of Zach Hing behind me, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I picked this terrible picture. It's because what Zach's talking about is so right. It's right on the money. He was talking about how there's too much polished stuff in media. Everyone's so polished and, you know, like, I mean, I'm, I've am i got this really nice microphone here, kind of. This is a, a Blue Yeti. Zach says he needs a microphone. Zach, I, I want to recommend this. Uh, it's a Yeti. It's from Blue. There you go. So here I am talking in this, this nice microphone. I've got these headphones on. Actually, this is not so I can listen to myself. I know what I sound like when I talk. A lot of podcasters, radio people, they, they have headphones so they can hear what their voice sounds like. That's what that is. I don't need that. I've done enough podcasting. I've done enough recording that I know what I sound like on the microphone. I know. I can see the, I watch the wave in front of me while I'm recording it. But I'm not wearing this headphone, this, set, this headset just to look good. Now, I got this microphone. Now, he's going to talk about in a minute about how we don't need good microphones. And here, I've got a good microphone. I, I got this microphone for audio podcasting and because I do some voiceover stuff. And that was just important for me, having grown up as a techie, been a kid and doing radio stuff all my life. It's like, I just need to have a decent microphone. You know, like I've done audiobooks, I recorded the book of Enoch, I recorded my own translation of the book of Revelation. Like I've I've done this stuff, and that was important to me to have this. But we don't need to have good quality microphones all the time. I'll still go outside and do live streams or I'll do video recordings with my phone outside. That's that's fully fine and okay. And that's one thing Zach's talking about. Now you see this terrible look on Zach's face here? He actually started talking about in this video. That, that, that there's too much of this polished stuff and there's this polished media, super nice camera and people want to see real. And so I hit the space bar to pause it and that's what Zach's face looked like. Now, this is a thing. In dirty photography, like 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 the, the, the photographer that wants to be mean to people, it's a skill where they'll get the camera and they'll snap the photo at just the right moment where the person's in the middle of talking and and, and it's like you catch him at that awkward moment where he looks like an idiot. All of us in our normal talking as we're moving our mouth and face and we're blinking and we're doing different thing, you know, things like at any moment you could freeze frame our normal talking conversation. And most of the time, if we just stop there, we do look like idiots. That's almost everybody all the time. And I I think that the general public is figuring this out, but like a lot of these terrible pictures of newspapers, Drudge, Drudge is famous for grabbing these terrible pictures of politicians, even politicians that he likes. You you know, the the, the pictures of Hillary Clinton, you know, that, that, you know, like, that's not normal Hillary. We all look like idiots at times in just normal conversation. And it's a dirty trick photographers play to snap that moment where it looks like a freeze frame, but it's not as part of conversation. I, I'm kind of waiting for public to figure that out. That relates to what Zach's talking about. Here, I'm going to play what he's talking about. Wait, wait, where am I? Maybe not. Maybe. Me. Wait, no, wait, hold on though. Hold on though. His guess. Yup. Too polished. We're too polished. He's right. Right. Okay. So I, I, I don't want to, okay, take too much time just listening to the video, but you see, you see what these guys are saying. This, this was the interview that, that, um, that Zach was doing with this this very awesome guy. 
there's too much of this polished stuff. So here I am, I've got the green screen behind me and I've got my microphone, I've got my headphones. The reason I have headphones is so I can hear what they're saying. I, I can't, if I, I can't play that on the speaker without my headphones, I don't know what he's saying. So I don't know how to respond to it. That's that I am not wearing these headphones to look cool. Um, in fact, I'd rather wear a hat. I've got my hat here. I'd rather wear my hat. And the reason I wear my hat, what, watch what, since, since we're talking about camera stuff, let's talk about camera stuff. Look at the color on my face. I'm using a Logitech HD cam. It's really great. I think it's like a 930, a 922C or something. It's really, Logitech has great cameras. Very, very simple, not too expensive, really good work. Look at the color of my face. See how it's a nice warm color? If I take that off, watch what happens to my face. The auto light adjust stuff changes the colors on my face. Now, it's actually not as bad as it was before. Um, I've actually got like, this is a normal color. Like this is the normal white light that I use and I'm adjusting the light because I've got lights over here. But that's what I'd normally look like. I put on the hat and the auto white contrast filter. Look at that. It warms up my face. That's one reason that I wear a hat. I don't want to look pale and weird. It's like, it's like it's got too many fluorescent lights and then that's distracting. Camera stuff is a thing, but I'm not totally so worried about it. So, okay, I'll take off the hat. I don't really need the hat. And that's why I have my microphone or my, my, my headphones here. So I'm going to set my headphones down. Since we're all into this, uh, this thing about, you know, not having perfect studios, I'm going to show you the studio that I'm in. So you, so you get this. So I've got my green screen behind me and I'm just going to lift up. See, I've got my blanket and it's a green blanket and, and I've got a fill. It, it take me like a minute or two to make it so you can actually see the color of this green blanket. It's a chroma green blanket. So I'm not going to go uncover that, but I just have a blanket here and I've, I've got uh, another blanket. Like you can see the edge of it behind me right here. Like there it is. Um, I've got two blankets and I'm just here in my little studio, in my little apartment. And I don't, I don't have this green thing because I want to impress anybody. I have this green thing so that it's, it's a green screen. Basically it's a makeshift. I mean, every green screen is a makeshift green screen, get green behind you and, and then go. I don't have this to try to impress anybody. I have this so that I can play the video and I can talk about it all at the same time. Like I'm not into I'm not into all that. Well, that, those are some thoughts I had about what uh, Zach was doing. And I think he's awesome. I think he's right on the money. Zach, if you get a microphone, I strongly recommend blue. Uh, this is a, uh, here, here it is, blue. This is a Yeti. Snowballs are also okay. I, I'd love to get a snowball for traveling because I travel and I can do podcasts on the road. Um, for me, I have a good quality microphone because I, I do voiceover stuff and I grew up with audio and I just... Just personally, I want to have good audio. Maybe it's a problem that I have. Um, but uh, we, we don't always need microphones. My first podcast started with a cheap little microphone. Where is my cheap little microphone? I want to show you my cheap little microphone I started with. Like that. I started my podcast um, 10 years ago with this little microphone. And, and I did, and I had a hundred listeners. Now I've only got 50. Um, of course, they were all friends in the beginning and they quickly stopped listening. So maybe it didn't matter. But I, I did podcasts for years with just this cheap little $15 microphone. Um, so you, you, it's true. You know, I've done it. You can start with anything. And the, but these guys are right on, they're right on the money. There's way too much emphasis on quality material. I've got it because I want to do a good job. But it's not the microphone that makes the podcast. It's who's talking on it. Thanks, Zach.